Okay. So lately I've been playing some uh, Black Ops Zombie maps uh, in Snap Map, and there's been uh, quite a few actually. Some pretty good ones also. One thing I've noticed no one knows how to make uh, purchasable doors. <laughs> you know, like, you know, you play Black Ops Zombies, and, uh, you know, you got those doorways that say you got to pay like 500 bucks to get through or something like that. Yeah, no one knows how to build those in here. <laughs> so I'll show you how to do it. It's actually not very hard, it's pretty easy. Uh, let's put a door here real quick. We're going to make that locked. Get rid of the message. Okay. Let's the box trigger. We're going to put it right there. So I'm going to start now. Make him usable. Message. Okay. Hundred dollars. Let's also make this uh, a little bit bigger, big enough so it looks like it's cut to the doorway. Also big enough so you can actually get to the damn thing. Uh, One forty is good enough. Get the height all the way up to the top, just to be safe, and widen it up. Then we got that. I'm sure you're used. Spend. A hundred. Spend resource succeeded. I'm gonna open that door. Now what used to happen here, I'm going to leave this away from the doors to show you guys something. What used to happen, oh wait, let me, uh, show this off real quick. <clears throat> now what used to happen was that when you put the resource in there and then you just put it in there but you forget to get the money in there all of a sudden it's always through the door and it opens automatically because um, you can still go into debt with the resource because I didn't adjust it yet. I don't know if it still works that way. I'm going to give it another shot real quick. I, I just tested it and for some reason it wouldn't work. So let's see if it does it. I still got no money. Okay, good. It doesn't work. Yeah, but what used to happen was that a little, little back up. If you didn't adjust this, the minimum to zero, um, it would still open the door even though you had no money. It would just put you in debt. That's what we used. That's what used to happen. Looks like they actually fixed that, so we're good on that. Uh, it's also changed the uh, cooldown timer to just point oh one, so that way you can charge over and over again. Now it succeeded. We want to delete this so that we never use it again. Okay. Let's give ourselves a resource. Or something to start the resource. I guess I could probably do a simple enemy. I got a better idea. Hang on. Let's get rid of this. Let me do a little trick here. Set your uh, player score output to the resource. And what this does, it sets the score system to the resource system. So that way, when you kill enemies, you'll make money based on what they're worth. Based on the score system. Now let's go for uh, an expensive enemy. Let's, let me look up the scores real quick. Who is worth about 500? Let me see. Alright, 
Cacodemon? Okay, we'll do Cacodemon. Alright, let me move this over. Grab a Cacodemon. Make his health. 2%. So all I gotta do is shoot him once and it'll just give me 500 bucks. Okay. Jack and Demon, I got 500 bucks. Walk into this, and there you go. So, now you can, now you can make a purchasable door. <laughs> a, a, a purchasable door, ah. My English is messed up. <laughs> is there a respawn on these guys? Nah, there's no respawn. I'll show one more time. I gotta go up to the door, try to purchase. Nothing. Kill this guy. 500 bucks. Door opens. And that's how you get that working. So. I said it's real simple to set up. It's just I understand why people didn't do it because the resource system was a bit off for a while. Because um, again, if you didn't adjust the minimum, it would go into debt for some reason and make you wonder why is it still working. And you don't want it to work for people to work to get that money so that they can unlock the door. Well, they fixed it apparently. <laughs> but just as a safety point, if you want to set it up anyway, just go to the minimum value and set it to zero in case it glitches up on you. Because sometimes. Like, I always do it by default. If you guys know me, I do always do it by default just to make sure. Because you'll never know. It might it might decrease anyway. And that's how you get that working. So, thank you very much for watching, and you all take care.